That brings us finally to 1.6. In rabbits, brown fur is dominant over white fur. And long ears, capital E, is dominant over short ears. A rabbit that is heterozygous for both characteristics, so we've got a rabbit heterozygote for, for fur color and heterozygote for ear length is crossed with a white rabbit with short ears. A white rabbit is going to be homozygous recessive and short ears is going to be represented by the recessive allele. What do we call this type of cross? You've got two kinds of crosses that you've learned about. Monohybrid and dihybrid. And the hybrid part of the word refers to crosses. And the mono refers to one and the di to two. One characteristic is crossed in monohybrid crosses, so we might be looking at fur color. That would be a monohybrid cross. But here we're looking at two characteristics, fur color and ear length. And so we're looking at a dihybrid cross. Give the phenotype of a rabbit that is dominant for both characteristics. So our dominant phenotype is brown fur with long ears. Give the genotype of a white rabbit with short ears. Remember the genotype, we write the letters representing the alleles. Give the genotype of the gametes of a heterozygous brown rabbit with short ears. Now, in the gametes, we have to segregate the alleles. So, a heterozygous brown rabbit is going to have one allele brown, one allele white, and short ears, it's only going to have the little e because we have to show, it'll have two little e's, but we only have to show it once. <music>